Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's vlog, we're going to change our 2 by setup crown set into one by setup. Actually, before, I'm using a 3 by setup, but I don't really use the big chain ring. That's why I decided to change it into 2 by And now, uh, I just want to experience uh, what it's like to have a one by setup crown set. So let's go! So this is my Diora M6000 2 x setup crown set. I've been using this for more than a year and I haven't experienced any problem. But today, I want to experience a 1 by setup crown set without spending too much money. We are not going to replace the entire crown set, we're just going to convert the 2 by crown set into 1 by setup by removing this 2 chain ring and replacing it with a new one. Of course, later on, we are going to remove the front derailleur and shifter because we're not going to use it anymore. So, I only bought a narrow wide oval chain ring with 34 teeth, 96 BCD, asymmetric. I think it's around 250 to 350 passes. If you're not sure of what kind of chain ring you will be going to purchase, feel free to ask on your local bike shop because not all chain ring has the same sizes. So let's start. First, we need to remove the left crank arm using a 5mm Allen wrench. and 10mm allen wrench for the end cap. Then pull the plate, remove the left crank arm and the right crank arm. Next, let's remove the screws using a 5mm allen wrench. 4 screws for the smallest chain ring, and 4 screws for the largest chain ring. After removing the chain ring, let's just clean the crank arm and install our new chain ring. Because we don't need the smallest chain ring, I just installed back the old screws. Next, let's remove the chain so that we can remove the front derailleur and shifter. Now we can install our crown set. Just reverse the process of what we did a while ago. So first, push the right crown arm towards the left, then push the left crown arm towards the right. Just make sure to push down the plate and install back the end cap using a 10mm allen wrench. And lastly, tighten the screws of the left crown arm using a 5mm allen wrench. Of course, our bike won't run without a chain, so we need to install it back. But now I'm going to use a missing link so that it's easy for us to install.
to the seat. If you have any question, comment, suggestion, shout out, just let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Keep safe and ride safe, mga kapatid.